guy who's ready to finish this little dress and make a super cool sleeve today. Um, this is one's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of intricate work that we've got to do, but it's going to produce something people are going to be like, you made that, um, which is the best reaction ever. Okay. So we are on step number 15 and the only difference between sleeve A and sleeve B is that, or B and C actually, B and C have the bottom pleat and the little horizontal pleat. If you're making, um, sleeve A, you only have the top pleats and then a hem with elastic in it. Super easy and straightforward. Um, if you, and I think, yeah, uh, the last sew along that I did for the Butterick pattern with the orange dress um, shows you how to do that casing with the elastic. Doesn't have the pleats, but it will have this bottom hem part that covers steps 19, 20, 21. Okay, and then you can catch back up with us here at 22. I am making view B, so I view steps 23, to 30 and that'll be the end for us okay so it says to make pleats on upper edge of sleeve sections on the outside fold along the solid lines so what that typically means to me is I will go to my iron and I will I've kept this close because remember I did not transfer the actual lines um, I only made notches so on the outside what I will do is I will identify okay which one of these is a solid line so I have this guy here so here's a notch and here's a solid notch. So at my iron, I will pinch this up a couple of inches and press. You could probably even finger press it. Let's see how that does on this fabric. Yeah, if you have like a, a lawn or a wall, you could probably even just finger press it like I'm about to do. <laughs> so on the outside, you pinch it, fold it over itself and then finger press or press at your iron, up to you. Okay, all the way around. All right, so once you've got all of your folds in there, now you're gonna start on one end and following your crease, you're gonna bring it it technically goes across, see how there's an X here? So this pleat goes past that original. It doesn't go to the, to the dash line closest to it. It goes to the one just past it. And that is gonna cause the pleats to crisscross themselves at the seam line. So you're gonna get a perfect little pleat and perfect little pleat mark right there at your seam line as you go around. So we go up and we go past to here, pin this one in place. Like so, and then its friend is gonna cross over the first one and the little intersection is gonna end right at your seam line right at the 5 8 inch seam allowance. So it's a little bit of finagling, a little bit finicky here, but man, is it gonna produce a beautiful sleeve. Look at that already. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Okay, so rinse and repeat all the way around this sleeve. Go ahead and do the other one if you wanna get ahead of yourself. Um, this is a great project for a Hallmark movie. Okay, so there is our sleeve head. She's looking great. Um, then while we're at the machine, we're also going to bring the little horizontal pleat together, just along this area. This gets um, on the inside. So it comes together, like right sides together like this. Okay, on the inside, pinch these up. And the same way that we did our darts, same way we did our darts, we are going to pull this up, fold it in on itself, and at each end, we are going to make sure the pin is going through the line. So we've got one. See how that's off a little bit? So we squoosh it down. 
There we go. Now that's perfect. Okay. And then that little line will be our stitching line for that one. And then on the bottom, I think we can do all this at the machine. At the bottom, you do it from the outside again. So these two here. So yeah, these come together like so. And you just stitch down that line. All right, so to our machines where we are going to probably start at the bottom. Stitch this line, stitch this line, and then baste across the top of the sleeve. Okay, sleeve is pleated. There is a lot going on. It's really hard to make heads or tails of what's happening here, honestly. This is supposed to get flattened. So she comes out like this, which I get, and then you baste across the bottom. Okay, no problem. Oh, and then I guess it causes that to lay over. Does it just stay like that? Oh my gosh, look you guys, it's like origami. Okay, well that's freaking cool. That's exciting. Um, hopefully yours looks like mine or mine looks like yours. Um, the next step is to address this sleeve head. So I have thoughts about the sleeve head. It's been keeping up, me up at night. And since I'm using this tool, I got a little bit nervous about how the tool was gonna feel against my skin. I mean, I get the idea of this is supposed to set it away from your body, so you're not supposed to touch it, but I ended up cutting out these like extra pieces of my fashion fabric to use as kind of like, I guess like a lining to the sleeve head. I figured it couldn't hurt and it would make it even more um, substantive. Um, but I might be going overkill, right? I might be doing too much. The first instruction is to fold this in half along the fold line, which is directly in the middle like this. Um, so I was thinking about doing that, basting, and then just running a serger over this just to make sure it's nice and comfortable. Again, that might be overkill. Don't feel like you have to do that. I'm just, you know, I guess being overly cautious. Okay, so that's the move. To come up here, fold it in half, baste it. Whether you've got this little um, underlining or not, you're still doing the same step. You're still folding in half and basting across the top. We're actually gathering it. Um, so you're gonna put in the two rows of stitches. Okay, so similar to how I did the skirt ruffle, I gathered up a whole bunch of it and put it all to one side and matching up the dots. I'm gonna start with the one on my right hand side and then I'm gonna move over to the middles. So this is a middle and this is a middle. Okay, and now I've gotta pull up the gathers so that these two things match. like so. Man, that is a tight gather. Okay, and then an extra pin in the middle. It doesn't really, I mean, it matters, but not a ton. Like, you don't have to, like, bang your head against the wall to get all of these super even. Um, just do, you know, a decent job of it. <laughs> not as important as it was for the skirt, that's for sure. And we are going to stitch across this, making extra special certain care, taking extra special care that we are not ruffling our any of our sleeve. Everything is staying nice and flat and being smoothed out as we sew. I mean, is that it? This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Okay, let's go do it. You guys, I have died and gone to sleeve head heaven. 
I mean, give me a freaking break. That is so cool. I'm obsessed. I love this. And look how good it looks on the inside. I mean, yeah, extra, extra to put the fabric over it, but I do think it's going to be like a lot more comfortable for me. I tend to be kind of a sensory person. So, um, but yeah, I mean, she looks incredible absolutely incredible i'm so excited okay so now continuing on with our sleeve we're going to do our underarm i'm doing french seams remember so mine go wrong sides together yours go right sides together so stitch and finish this seam however you normally would and then grab your sleeve cuff this should already be interfaced okay so i would just like i did the hem for the ruffle i would go ahead and pre-press this hem into a baby hem and then not stitch it, but just pre-press it, then make this into a tube and then stitch the hem down. Then once this is done, you're gonna place this on here, right sides together, it gets turned to the inside. And they're saying slip stitch, I mean, you do you, okay? All right, so I'll show you all of that at the machine. Okay, so that's the sleeve underarm. I pre-pressed the little facing, but not stitched it. This one, I'm just gonna do right sides together because it's a facing and you'll never see this underarm seam. Okay, now you come in with your free arm and stitch along the pre-pressed hem that you did. All right, now this goes right sides together on the hem of your sleeve. And the underarm seam matches up with the seam of the facing. So it goes on like so, slips over the end of it. And then you should have like a, um, a notch and the notches should match up. Okay, next we understitch, same way as we did with the other facing. So we're coming in and making sure that the seam allowances are turned toward the facing. All right, now the whole thing gets turned toward the inside like so and this is where you determine if you're going to be a good sewist and hand sew or if you're going to be a not as good sewist but still a spectacular sewist and um just tack it down so you can tack it down here at the underarm seam and then you can also tack it down here you know so it's like anchored in two spots you guys i don't know <laughs> you're gonna be hard pressed to convince me that it's worth it to do the whole hand stitching bit. So here we go. <laughs> Listen, I know myself, okay? Okay, after all of that, one sleeve is completely done. So go through, clip all your threads, press everything nice and well, and then we'll be ready to attach it to our dress. Okay, inserting a sleeve is one of those things that I cover in my um, e-course. So again, if you need extra special attention on this and like really, really slowed down um, instructions, refer to the description box. I have a link to the e-course there. But you're going to turn your dress wrong side out. Your sleeve is going to be right side out. And there is a front and a back to our sleeve. The one with the double notches is our back. So, so long as you have those things matched up, Look at that, I did it on the first try. Okay, so this goes in here and you match up your underarm seams, like your side seam and your underarm seam get matched up like this. Then I come around and match up those double notches. Then I'll match the small dot 
and then the top, the shoulder seam gets lined up with the um, center dot, the top dot of the sleeve. Then just following back around, I'll do the other dot on the other side. And then the single notch down here. And then I'll take it to the machine. Sew around it. You can see I'm doing this one right sides together. I don't have it in me to do French seams for this little gathered section. <laughs> it's just too much. Um, but this is what it should look like. And as you're sewing around, you're gonna be easing things in. Like it doesn't look like all of this is gonna fit in here, but as you're going, you will be able to ease everything in and it, it will it will go in, I promise. Um, okay, so to the machine. All right, you guys, are we ready? Are we ready? I feel like we need to like prepare ourselves mentally for what we're about to see. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so here it goes. Turn your dress right side out. And oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so this is the front. Here, let me zip it up. <laughs> whoa 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 oh my gosh okay all right <laughs> I can't get over it I'm a little giddy okay so rinse and repeat for the other sleeve the pleats the sleeve head the facing all of that then attach it to your other arm side and you are done with this dress. And I'm telling you, if you have half the feeling that I have right now, this is going to be one heck of a mood booster. I'll tell you what. So that's going to do it. That's going to do it for this sew along. Um, I will be back with a like a reveal. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to keep up with the sew along workbook. There's some fun, um, like social media prompts as you're sewing. If you want to follow along with this, we are here. So I'll post a picture of my finished dress for sure. I will model it. I will, you know, do the whole thing. And then the project summary, thoughts on the pattern, things that you'll change. Truly, I can't, the fit is great. The construction was great. I mean, this is one, this is one heck of a pattern. McCall's or simplicity, you guys really knocked it out of the park with this one. I'll be making many, many more. So yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. If you have any like questions where you want to send a picture, all that, send it to me on Instagram. That's the best place. So good luck with your sleeve. I can't wait to see how your dresses turned out. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.